Hi, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my craft room. I'm so grateful to have you here today. I'm going to be sharing how I took this month's Show Us Your Sheet Load from Call Me Crafty Al, which of course I will have her original video linked down below. And I'm using Kindred Stamps products, um, but I'm going to show how I use these products and kind of made the sketch my own. I will be using this Pets paper pad from Kindred Stamps. Really adorable. I love the color scheme, so I was excited to use it. I'm using my paws stencil, of course, I've got lots of pets. I'm gonna be using the Career Day Pet Care stamp set as well as the Kindred Town Pets stamp sets. I also always grab these dies, my card basics and sentiment strips, but I won't be using the sentiment strips for this month. And then I also grabbed my enamel dots, but I felt like my cards were just fine without any extra embellishment, so I did not use any enamel dots, but wanted to have everything ready as I was designing this card, just in case I was inspired to use um, some enamel dots. I die cut some brown or craft cardstock using the large rectangle die from my Card Basics die set. And this is my first kind of uh, step away from the sketch. The blue piece, if you look at Crafty Owl's um, PDF download, which you can get from the video, uh, you just have to watch the video to know how to download it. Uh, but anyway, it's a bit smaller and leaves a wider border of the card base, but I just wanted to use this die. I love the stitching details on the card basic die, so I am doing one little thing different so far by changing the dimension of my uh, kind of background rectangle and then adding the stencil to it so it has just a little bit more fun and interest since you're going to see a lot more of that piece than the original sketch. I'm going to be doing two cards at a time so you can see the two different ways that these cards turn out using this pattern paper. So I have my card bases. I love using Nina's 110 Ultra Thick Cardstock for my card bases. And I'm just using a scrapbook.com tape runner to add these pieces to the card base. And I'm centering it so there is a nice white border around my paw backgrounds. I followed the sketch exactly on how to trim my 6x6 paper, so it will look a little different from the sketch, but I didn't want to alter the dimensions because it cuts perfectly with no scraps from two pieces of pattern paper, so we're just going to have a little bit wider borders around everything, and that's okay. I think it still looks really cool, and it's a great sketch to use up some 6x6 paper, so very grateful for Crafty Owl's sketch this month. I am, again, doing my best to make sure that there is an even border as I'm adding these pieces on the top, bottom, and the sides to the edges, not really worrying about the spacing in between the two pattern paper. Um, a lot of that's going to be covered up when I add my images. So I stamped and colored and it took me a long time to color all these images. Um, I'm actually recording this video over like two days because it took me so long to color. But I have my little wash and groom building. I have my little puppy getting a little bath. And then I stamped my kindred career character um, doing the like little water hose so that way it looks like they're washing the little puppies and I also did my best to do different types of hair and skin tones if you want to see a coloring guide using oh hoo hoo art markers for what I've come up with so far for skin tones and hair just let me know in the comments for my sentiment, I decided to use the ticket shaped die from the card basic set because it fit the stay positive, love a good pun, uh, really well. So I die cut it out of some blue and orange cardstock because I thought it matched really great with my pattern paper and the way I colored my building and my characters. I used a lot of blue and orange because those were the colors that really stood out to me with these two pattern papers that I chose. So I'm gluing down my little ticket sentiment first, and it's going to tuck behind my building. So you're only going to see partle, partle, a partial or part of my ticket, just enough to see the sentiment. And I glued down my wash and groom building with wet glue as well. I try not to do too much bulk when it comes to these cards. I don't always do that because I love 
you know, popping up my images. But with these, I know that these are kind of like a mass card and I'm going to be mailing them out. So I like to try to keep it a little bit thinner compared to cards that I put in gifts or hand deliver. So I'm using some of my thinner foam adhesive and I added it completely behind my two little characters, uh, my career day, and then the two little puppies in their bathtubs. And I'm just adding those so I don't completely cover the wash and groom sentiment or the, you know, the little building label um, because I wanted it to, to show the wash and groom. And then I grabbed my white gel pen and I'm just adding highlights because I didn't add them yet to my images. So just adding a little bit of fun to my stamped and colored an image. I also used a brown fine liner pen on my buildings to create some bricks, um, just to add a little bit more detail to my coloring because I didn't do any shadowing in that color part of the building. Here is a look at all six cards so you can see how I colored my little people. I did my best to try to do different, like I said, different hair, different skin tones, um, and I even have one with red orange hair, which I think turned out so cute. I love all six of these cards and I love how they're a little bit different. Um, but I'm so grateful for these sketches and I think that they're so fun and help kind of take out some of the guesswork on creating cards, but you can still make it your own like I did. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll click like and if you're new here, I hope you'll subscribe and come back. As always, you can find everything I use down below in the description box. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye!